Praise the Lord. I'm Pastor Kevin Williams Jr. And I'm First Lady of Marlboro Williams. We greet you in the name of Jesus Christ and we invite you to watch our sermons and Bible studies that it may uplift you. And please visit our website, gbwtalbion.org. And remember, we love, love you, you in, in Jesus', Jesus name. name.
Greater Bible Way St. Philip Albion, where our very illustrious pastor is um, Elder Kevin Williams Jr. Um, our address is 402 Austin Avenue in the beautiful city of Albion, Michigan. Amen. We welcome you to our service. Um, if you can, you know, share this video just to invite um, someone um, and like this video. Um, if you wish to um, sow into this ministry, um, our cash app is in the description of this video. Amen. Amen. Um, so I give honor to God, um, who is ahead of my life, again, to our pastor, my amazing husband in his absence. Pastor asked me on, I think, Wednesday, if I would speak on Sunday. There was kind of mention of him having to work, but um, it was really up in the air, and I thought I was off the hook, but he texted me on, <laughs> he texted me on Wednesday. He said, we got to work on Sunday. I said, Jesus, no. <laughs> Pastor, know I need about a year to prepare, especially for a Sunday morning. Amen. I need about six months to get over my nerves, and then another six months to study. So here, <laughs> here <laughs> but anyways, I I love my pastor. I support him, and um, I just know the importance or the sacredness of the pulpit. Um, Amen. Coming from a I mean, being a pastor's daughter and. Um, having several uncles who are pastors. Amen. Um, I don't take this lightly um, to stand before God's people. So um, if everyone can keep me in prayer as I um, say what thus saith the Lord. Um, so we are going to read from Genesis. And it is customary for us to stand up, but this passage that I'm reading is a little lengthy, so you guys can um, stay seated. So we're going to read from Genesis chapter 1. And then also, if you want to um, keep a, your finger or a tag into 1 Peter chapter 1. So first, we're going to start in the New Testament with Genesis chapter 1. And thus saith the Lord, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Chapter, or verse 6 says, And God said, let there be firmament in the midst of the water, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Verse 14 says, And God said, let there be light in the firmament, of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be signs and for seasons and for the days and years. Drop down to verse 20. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundant, abundantly the moving creature that hath life in fowl that may fly up above the earth in the open firmaments of heaven. Verse 24, And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creature after his kind cattle and creepy things. So God planned and spiders <laughs> and ants and, 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 and Amen. And, and creepy things and beasts of the earth after his kind and it was so. Verse 26 says, And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeliness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing and creep that creepeth upon the earth. Chapter 20, verse 1 through 2 says, Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made. And he rested 
on the seventh day for all his work which had, which he had made. And then now we're going to go to the Old Testament. First um, Peter chapter one, and we're going to read verses twenty and twenty-one. And it says, "Who verily was foreordained." before the foundation of the world, but was manifested in these last times for you, who by him do believe in God, that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in God. You may have a uh, Dear Heavenly Father, we give you thanks, Lord God, for this day, Lord God. We give you thanks, Lord God, for waking us up this morning with brand new mercies, Lord God. I ask, Lord God, that you touch me as your vessel, Lord God. Touch my tongue as a pen of the ready writer, Lord God. I ask, Lord God, that you speak through me, Lord God, and use me to help touch, Lord God. Open the uh, ears of your people, open the hearts of your people so that they may receive your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. So, um, it is reported that uh, four out of ten adults reported symptoms of uh, depression and anxiety just by me. Um, that alarming number has increased from one out of ten who reported the same symptoms in January of 2019. Um, in July of 2020, adults have reported a significant negative impact on their mental health, well-being, their, uh, it was reported that they've had difficulty sleeping or eating, uh, increase in alcohol consumption or substance use, and worsening chronic conditions due to worry and stress over the coronavirus. There are a reported 29.3 million cases in their rising of COVID-19 and 530,000 deaths in the United States. Now I'm sure everyone here can raise their hand if you've ever known anyone that's either died from COVID or been affected by it. Along with this disease of COVID, we've had a rise in racial injustice cases. Finally, in all my years of living, I've never witnessed such a messy political race. I think all of us can agree that 2020 was rough. Uh, I know for myself, um, I lost my last living grandmother last year in 2020. So I, as I was meditating on what um, the Lord wanted me to say on this morning, uh, the Lord spoke in my spirit and said, my people have forgotten. And to remind them of my greatness. Amen. People of God, um, what if our perspective was not fixated on the devastation around us, but fixated on God's great, powerful, and mighty works? The God that can deliver us from every and any situation. Amen. Amen. I know one thing, our churches would be packed out. Because if we truly knew the power of God and his abilities, worry, fear, anxiety, would not stop us from coming to the house of God. Amen. So in Genesis, uh, it depicts the creation um, of the world being, being done in seven days. Well, six days, he rested on the seventh. But on day one, God created light. Um, on day two, he created the atmosphere and the firmaments were created. Um, on day three, uh, God created the dry ground and plants. On day four, the sun, moon, and stars were created. So research shows that the number of stars in the galaxy varies, but there are average of 100 billion stars per galaxy, which means that there are about 1 billion trillion stars in the universe. Can y'all even write that number? Can you write the number 1 billion trillion? God said, remind my people of my greatness. 
Uh, the sizes of the stars can range from 40 kilometers in diameter to being similar to the size of Earth. Um, some stars are uh, 750 miles in diameter. Or the largest supergiant star, which is more than um, 1,500 times larger than the sun. God said, remind my people of my greatness. The size of the sun is about 400 and, wait, I can't even read this number, 432,450 miles, which makes the sun's diameter 864,938 miles. You could line up 109 Earths across the face of the sun. God said, remind my people of my greatness. The moon's radius is about 1,079.6 miles with a diameter of 2,159 miles. That would be about the distance from driving from Albion to Alaska. Day five, God created birds and seas and animals. Uh, day six, the Lord uh, created land animals and humans. Now science have um, recently estimated that there are approximately 8.7 million species on Earth. They believe that one to two million of these species are animals. The human body. So pretty much thus far, I've pretty much dismissed the whole Big Bang Theory. Mm -hmm. Because God orchestrated this world. It's too much detail. God planned this too well. Um, Big Bang Theory is out the window, right? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. So the human body, um, every second your body produces 25 million new cells. That means in 15 seconds, you will have produced more cells than there are people in the United States. There is anywhere between 60,000 and 100,000 miles of blood vessels in the human body. If they were taken and laid end to end, they would be long enough to travel the world more than three times. Our bones are stronger than steel. A block of bones the size of a matchbox can support 18,000 pounds of weight. God said, remind my people of my greatness. First uh, Peter 1 and 20 says, says, who verily was for, for ordained before the, the foundation of the world, but was manifested in these last times for you. So God ordained this very moment right now before the foundation of the world. So before God delivered those three Hebrew boys from the fiery furnace, he knew COVID-19 was going to happen. And before God healed the woman with the issue of blood and healed the ones of leprosy. He healed the blind man. And before he raised the Lazarus from the death, I mean from the grave, he knew that we'd be sickened unto death and needed a miracle. Before he parted the Red Seas for Moses and the Israelites, or spoke to the raging waters, and they ceased, he knew that we needed a way of escape when we were at the wrong place, at the wrong time, doing the wrong thing. Before the miracle of Jesus' birth by way of a virgin, before blessing the barren Sarah and Rebecca, Rachel and Hannah with a child, he knew that his people were in the need of a miracle. People, let us not forget, let us never forget what God has done for us. Amen. Amen. So I encourage every one of you in those moments of defeat or discouragement when you're praying and don't feel heard. Never forget 
what our God has done. Amen. Amen.